Today, we're going to talk about how to determine the front view for an object. The first step in determining the front view for an object is finding the most descriptive side of an object. If you're looking at this, you may think that it's a square, a rectangle, or a trapezoid, but you'd be incorrect. If we rotate this object down to the right side, you can see that there's a large angle here. This is definitely more descriptive than their previous view because it tells us a lot more information about the object. Instead of just being a square, or rectangle, or a trapezoid, we can see that it's something entirely different. The second step in determining a front view is what side is the most natural resting position for the object. In this case, this object's really not going anywhere as is, so this could work, but if we kind of tip it on an end, you can see that it does have another natural resting position if we just leave it like so. So this doesn't really work so well. What we might want to do is flip it over so that we have it laying down flat and now it doesn't rock or move or do anything like that. So this would be the most natural position for this object. The third thing that we want to consider is what shows the widest width, the farthest from left to right on an object. If we take a look at this object and rotate it around, we already know that this doesn't work from previous examples, but we also know that it doesn't show the widest width. This view definitely shows the widest width. And then our final thing that we need to do is what shows the best height of the object. If we go from bottom to top and measure what it is, we should hopefully see the tallest height. This rule doesn't always work depending on how the object fits the other rules that we've discussed, but in this case, our tallest height fits here to here, and this would be the front view of our object. Let's go through an example to see how this actually works in real life. So we have a bottle of wood glue here. We can take a look at it and see what's going on, and we know that it laying down like this is not its natural resting position. It definitely wobbles from side to side. So we're gonna stand it up, and we're gonna stand it up on the edge. If we stand it up this way, it's obviously not gonna work either because it will fall. So this is the most natural standing position for it. Now that we have that, we need to figure out what side is most descriptive, which could be this side, this side, or this side, but we're not really sure because it's kind of an odd object. So let's go on to our next rule to figure out what works best here. What shows the widest width? Does this from left to right show more width than this does? I think this shows a lot more information because it shows us what it is from left to right. We also get information about the top and the general shape of the object. The final thing is what shows the tallest height, which from bottom to top this definitely does. And in all honesty, no matter what view we put it in here or what rotation we put it in, it shows the height all the way through. So we've met all the rules here and we have our object ready to go. If you follow these four rules, you'll be able to determine the front view of an object quickly easily and accurately every time.